Hi, Huma. Welcome to New York. And welcome to the big success of your movie. Thank you very much. Feels very good. Thank you. So talk to me about your character. Um, you know, when I saw the movie, I loved the fact that she was this working woman, you know, even back then. Absolutely. I think Gurinder's written a very progressive character. She's a girl from 47, but she's working, she's educated, she speaks in English. Uh, you know, so I guess Alia in that sense is quite the modern Indian girl. And I guess in a way, Alia's journey is a journey of many people at that point in time in the country. You know, the partition has been the singular most um, crazy event that ever happened. You know, so I watched the movie and I've actually seen several interviews of Gurinder Chadda where she says, you know, back then, you know, Muslims were celebrating Eid um, with the Hindus. Hindus were celebrating Diwali with the Muslims and overnight, like this whole change just happened, you know. Today I think, you know, whether it's in New York or whether it's in India, today I think whether there's Eid, Diwali, Holi, we all celebrate each other's festivals. There's so much, uh, you know, exchange of food and, and mitai and all of that happens. And I think the fact that the strength is the diversity and the beauty is the diversity. Having said that, uh, well, you know, there always are ulterior motives of, of political powers, of imperialistic powers that back in the day wanted to divide the country for, uh, for their own gain. And of course, we were taught about divide and rule policy uh, when we were growing up in school. But the film, most importantly, talks about something else, another reason which is responsible for the partition. And uh, that's the crux of the film as well. How was it working with Manish Dayal? Oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. I, I, he's, of course, Gujarati American from Carolina, and he's a lovely boy. And um, what, what a fantastic guy. Of course, I'd seen his work earlier. Uh, you know, but uh, but it was such a pleasure to work with him. He's more American than Indian. He's more American than American, but very dedicated, very intense, very processed. Now, if there's one thing you can take away from this movie, um, perhaps something you haven't from another one that you worked on, what would it be? I guess uh, this film is talking about something so relevant, you know, so the one thing as an artist, when I did a film like this, you understand the kind of importance of a subject like this has on people. And the fact when you open the newspaper, you see so many people dying every day, hate crimes happening, all these divisive politicians, you know, trying to hate talk us into us versus them. And I think this film really reminds you that what happens when you can try and divide people like that. And the result is not so good. What's one thing you want your audience to take away from this movie? One thing, of course, is, is it, it's, a, um, it's a beautiful love story. It's a, it's a film that talks about uh, you know, uh, the politics of the time, it, it sheds new light about uh, what really happened, but at the same time it's such a human story. So. But, but I think what, people, what really appeals to people is, um, is the humanity of the film, really. I, mean, I like the fact that they didn't show any one side being, you know, more hostile than the other. It was just a very light film. Yeah, it's not, it's not an aggressive film, it's not a film that points fingers and says, oh, you are responsible for the partition, or you messed up. I think. It talks about, okay, we, this was a situation, this is what happened, these were the players involved, this is what went, you know, went on, but now where do we go from here? So in that sense, if you notice, the film is also a bit hopeful. You know, it, it sort of leaves you on a hopeful note. I don't want to give away the ending because everyone should watch it, but, um, and I think that's, that, that, that's really important, right? I mean, I like watching films with hope, that have like a hopeful message. I wanted to do like a little fun round with you, um, just so people get to know Huma. So what is Huma preferred, deck top or pajamas? Pajamas. Uh, biryani or pasta? Biryani. What was the last lie you told? I lie all the time. I can't <laughs> remember on which one now to tell you on camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Brush my teeth. What's the one thing that turns you on? A man's uh, smell. smell. Yeah. Uh, what's your one guilty pleasure? Chocolate. Um, what's one thing that intrigues you but you haven't been able to do it? Uh, skydiving. Um, and if you had to say, who is the sexiest woman on earth? Who would you pick? Oh, uh, wow. I quite like Charlie Theron. I think she's hot. I think she's hot. Yeah. How about a male? Uh, Leonardo? All right, so I, I, won't, I won't torture you too much. We'll, we'll end off with lights on or lights off? Oh, on. Definitely on, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Huma. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time out to come and thank speak with so us much. today. Good luck with the movie. Thank you so much. I love you chatting with you. Thank